Hey guys, I'm EJ, and this is I'd Review That. The sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, the lights are flickering. A beautiful sight, you'll be happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Voted the best event in Nashville for 2019, we're going to go see the holiday lights at Cheekwood Estate and Botanical Gardens. Although Cheekwood is only about 20 minutes away from downtown Nashville, it is tucked into some preservation land to the southwest of the city. The holiday light event that is hosted by Cheekwood Estates and Botanical Garden has a lot of activities and amenities for the entire family. They have a reindeer village, they have the holiday light walk, they have the Cheekwood mansion, they have the dancing lights of trains, they have Santa Claus, they have carolers, and they even have a s'more central station. Now the holiday light event is pretty popular, so you're going to want to pre-purchase your tickets online before you go, especially since parking is limited, and if you don't have those pre-purchased tickets, you're going to have to go to the off-site parking lot. But don't worry, because if you need to do that, they have a service that will bus you back and forth. The holiday lights walking path is the main attraction. It is an immersive experience that meanders through the botanical gardens, up to the Cheekwood Mansion, back down to the dancing lights of trains, and then all the way to the Reindeer Village. And even though the Holiday Lights Walk is the main attraction, it has several other attractions that you're going to enjoy just as much. And one of them is the Cheekwood Mansion. When you get up to it, you can walk around it and you can take a tour inside. Inside the mansion there are lots of rooms to explore and it even has that 20 foot poinsettia tree and the art museum. And after you see everything that's in the mansion and you head back down that hill, if you turn back around and look at the front lawn of the mansion you'll see that it has a nice lights display that is synchronized to Christmas music. And after you're done enjoying the light sync to the Christmas music, and before you head on to the dancing lights of trains, you can stop at S'mores Central. They have bonfires going where you can go get warmed up, or you can even roast some marshmallows for your s'mores. Now after you've enjoyed your s'mores, or maybe even your adult beverage, and you're feeling nice and toasty, toasty. from being by that bonfire, you can head down the lighted decorated path that will take you to the dancing lights of trains. And growing up, one of my family traditions was always a train garden. We had train gardens around town that we would go visit, and then we had our own train set. And as you can see, I even have my own set of trains as well. So being able to go down and see the dancing lights of trains was something that was really exciting, especially considering how immersive the experience is. You walk in and you're just surrounded by the trains. You got them to your right, you got them to your left, they're above you, they're below you. It was just a really cool experience to be able to walk through and see how much effort that they put into making this train garden. And after you've had your fill of the train garden, you can head up to the reindeer village where they have the only real life reindeers in the Nashville area. And while you're there, you can warm up and then you can purchase some seasonal food and beverages to enjoy. And there's two things that I want to make sure that I mention. 
the holiday light event is primarily outdoors. And while you have S'more Central, the Reindeer Village, and the Cheekwood Mansion as areas to warm up, you're going to be primarily outside. So you're going to make sure you're dressed appropriately. You're going to want to be warm enough that you can enjoy the experience around you without being too cold. The other thing is you are going to be walking up and down some little hills, especially trying to get up to the Cheekwood Mansion, which is pretty big and a little steeper. So you're just going to make sure that you have a comfortable pair of shoes that you can make those climbs in. And while looking for reviews of the Holiday Light event at Cheekwood Estates of Botanical Gardens, I found almost nothing but positive reviews, which isn't surprising in the least. But the one thing I'll say is I did find two slightly negative reviews. One person complained about the handicap accessibility and another person complained about the price. Now the price I don't agree with at all. I think for the price they charge you get a lot in that immersive experience. And then for the handicap accessibility, while most of the paths there are paved, I can see where they're talking about when you're trying to go up and down the hills, especially trying to get up to the mansion. You can do it, but you're probably going to need some help, so I can see where they have some credence there. And now it's time for me to give my rating of the Holiday Light event in Cheekwood Estates and Botanical Garden. And I'm going to give it a racing ostrich. My family and I really enjoyed visiting. We loved all of the events and really enjoyed that immersive experience of being in the lights. Now the one thing I'll say is why I didn't get my highest rating is because it's not something that we're necessarily going to make sure we do every time we're in Nashville for Christmas. It is something if we can fit it into our schedule we'll definitely do, but it's not something that we're necessarily going to make it part of our schedule and move some other things around. But with that said, if you haven't experienced it, or even if you have, I would highly recommend going and visiting. You're not going to be disappointed with the experiences that you have while you're there. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more reviews like this one, please subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like me to review something specifically, please send me a message on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Other than that, that's all I've got. I'm EJ, and this is I'd Review That. <laughs>